Many years ago, a bold adventurer named Rex Mason fell in love with a lovely rich lady named Sapphire Stagg. However, her father, Simon Stagg, did like Rex, not one little bit, so he arranged to have him murdered while on an expedition in Egypt. But, unfortunately for Simon, Rex didn't die during this expedition. In fact, he became reborn in a brand new body, but only because he came into contact with a strange ancient orb which magically transformed him into an elemental being that was one part amazing and one part ugly. Well, not totally ugly, as Sapphire still loved him and managed to make Rex embrace his brand new life by bestowing him with a lot of care and attention. Until years later, when her father was murdered by unknown forces. But was it Rex? Did Rex kill Simon over his transformation? And if he did, why did he wait so long before he enacted his revenge? That's what Batman, Superman, Robin and even Jimmy Olsen tried to find out in this particular episode of The World's Finest, which in my opinion was a pretty decent read. Well, not only was it a very exciting story full of real Silver Age charm both on a visual and a narrative level, but in addition to this it was dynamic, it was mysterious and in many ways it reminded me of an old episode of Columbo. Although, in this case, our heroes didn't smoke cigars or drive dilapidated vehicles, as they spent most of their time chronicling Rex Mason's checkered origins and investigating Simon Stagg's apparent death. Yes, that's right, I said apparent death, because I don't think the evil sod's actually dead. If anything, he's probably faking it just to make Rex look bad. I still like this story though, as it was a really great adventure that was easy on the eyes and even easier to follow. So easy in fact, that the ending really took me by surprise. 